my interest is mainly in producing something that reaches the general public because I think a lot of people ask, especially in a planetarium audience, well, what does the LHC actually do? What is the physics? Why should I care? And also, what is its connection to the Big Bang, for example? We talk about the Big Bang a lot. Uh, a lot. The show is called Relics of the Big Bang specifically because it is about astronomy and the Big Bang on one side, but also about what we're specifically doing here at MSU to understand the Big Bang a little bit better and what particle physics can do to help us understand what happens in the Big Bang. We at MSU were a group of about 36 people or so involved in the ATLAS experiment, and we do physics, um, analysis, we have computers here that do a significant part of the computing. We were also involved in building the actual detector. Uh, the, the detector itself is a six-story tall machine that's very, very complicated, has many ch analysis channels. And we were involved in putting some of that together, and we are currently involved in maintaining it and making sure that it reads out properly. Our goal uh, at the LHC, there's many goals that we have. Mainly, we're reaching an energy regime in particle collisions or comparative to very, very early times in the Big Bang that has never been see, uh, seen before, has never been reached before. So we expect there to be some new physics that we hope to find. And there's two specific questions that we talk about in the show. One is dark matter. We know the composition of the universe is much more than just the stars and galaxies that we see. We know that we really only see 20% of the matter in the universe. That other 80%, what is it? We have no idea. We hope to find out what it is at the LHC. The other particle that we're interested in at the LHC that we're hoping to find is the Higgs particle, which is um, the Higgs mechanism is responsible for giving mass to all the other particles, all the other elementary particles that we know. And in the show, and I think this is a very good comparison, we compare it to football players. So imagine you're an NFL or MSU running back, you're running down Spartan Stadium and there's no defenders anywhere, then you're massless, right? You have no resistance whatsoever that you're encountering. But now you have some opposing team and you're now running into the opposing defenders. They slow you down, they make you take detours. That's the Higgs particle. Within the next year or two years, we really hope that we'll make very meaningful and significant measurements. And I talked about the Higgs particle. We really hope that we can identify something, maybe the Higgs particle, maybe something unexpected, I don't know, in the next two, three years. And uh, when that happens, because of our show, people will be prepared and will understand hopefully, oh yeah, I know what this is. Thank you.